Um, so that was Afi doing uh, lyric by lyric. I really enjoyed that. That was really cool. Thank you. Um, so many cool things you touched on about that with Mardi Gras and the fact that you didn't come out until he was 24. 24, yeah. Yeah, I remember last time you told me that it was a much longer process. It wasn't just like coming out. It was more like you couldn't no. even say the word. Yeah, it took me a year in counselling to actually say that I was gay out loud. Yeah. And um, to the fact that I'm now singing songs about being gay is so weird. Yeah. And, and to have people reach out to me online, like literally every day, um, thanking me for these honest songs, it's beautiful. It's really nice. It's amazing. And you've got a show coming up next Friday. Yes. Um, in Sydney. We've got a show next Friday at the Oxford Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be singing the two songs that I've really, If They Only Knew and Love Is Love, and also other songs that I've written over the last 12 months. It's a full hour set. And some other songs too. I'm doing a George Michael tribute, Ooh. a Whitney tribute. Um, oh, you know, Whitney. You know, I love my Whitney on Dance With Somebody and um, yeah. How Will I Know. Great. I love those songs. Yeah, um, you know, I love the big diva songs too. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Because you've done the show at the Beresford before as well. Yeah. You're expecting a similar sort of vibe? Uh, no, this is more acoustic. So we've got a be like an awesome band. I've got some beautiful BVs. Um, it's nice, intimate, acoustic Correct. vibe. So it's a lot different to the, the gay club. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I saw you about a month ago yes. at the Taylor Square post you yes sort of yeah, boat yeah. party. And you got to see Ricky Lee and Pinky oh, Duck awesome. as well. Yeah. John Paul Young was such a surprise. Yeah, I know. Right? Like how cool he was. Yeah. That's cool. And next week I'm... Oh, actually, I'm not allowed to say that. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. There you are. It's already on your Facebook. Is it? About that you're what? performing at the results. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm performing at the results next week, so that will be really, hopefully, um, beautiful. How could it not be, though? Like, how could it be a no? I don't... Yeah. I, I, so when you sent me the song... It's a bit hot in here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can take a shot. Yeah. Oh, look oh, at that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is that smooth? <laughs> so smooth, yeah. It's totally not planned right? at all. <laughs> And my face probably matches his colour. <laughs> um, That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So look, I hope it's a yes. Um, yeah. If not, like, even though these parade, oh, sorry, these um, rallies that I've been singing at, that we've been talking at, mm. um, even though there's a bit of a somber kind of mood because you know we don't know like the, the fate of our the rest of our lives is in the hands of the country, but it's still it was such a um, uh, the atmosphere has always been beautiful. It's kind of celebratory, like we sing, we dance, and it's. That's what our community is all about. Like it's yeah. all about love, you know, which is weird. Um, I love when I was at Alex Granich was saying like our party's gonna be so much better than their party when we win. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, it will awesome. be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Yeah. Um, did you get to speak to Rick Lee at the event? I did, I met her before. We okay, did cool. we did um Australia Day show together. She's lovely. I mm -hmm. love her and I love her music. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, and when can we expect more music from you? Um, well, I'm hoping to have an EP out next year because I've written a lot of songs for it. So nice. um, yeah, just Next year, early next year. Great. Yeah. Great. Is there anything else you want to say to your fans who've been waiting so long to see um, you live next Friday? Yeah, come and see my show next week. But also, thank you. Like we hit a million views last week on um, If They Only Knew, and I get my comments all the time, like from te teenagers and parents, and like thanking me for helping a the kids dealing with their sexual, <laughs> making it okay and normalizing it. I guess. Um, but it's beautiful because that song's about my first, you know what it's about. Yeah, yeah. Um, and to have people connect with that and to resonate with the story, like it's really nice. Yeah, I mean, after we did my interview with you and we'd play like the, what do you call, Who Would You Rather with the male edition, yeah. that inspired me to come out <laughs> publicly. Yeah, because I was like, people already care, people already know, it doesn't really matter anymore. So yeah. I just made it public. So it was Good like, boy. yeah, oh, thanks. So you, you hadn't come out yet. I mean, all my friends yeah, knew, all my me. like family knew, but it wasn't like a public thing. Yeah. Um, and it's then, liberating uh, when you own it, like when you. It's such a non event. I can't even tell you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, for I, me, for when I, was, I was lucky when I came out because my family took it really well. Yeah. But like I've told you before, my ex's family did, and some people, mm. and I usually push people when I hear that they, because I just want people to be happy, like, yeah, yeah. and because I was miserable as a teenager and most of my life, and as soon 24. as I, yeah. So I just want young kids, like if, if they're 18 and they tell me that, I'm like, just do it. Tell them. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm like, oh, just be careful. Uh -huh. You never right know. Now, right now, <laughs> yeah, you know, as long as you know. week could be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Just surround yourself around beautiful, loving people, and I think you'll have a good life. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy that you did that. Thank you. No, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was like, a, you know, for me, it was like, a, I don't need to come out. Why would I need to come out? Like, yeah. everyone already knew. Yeah. 
Yeah. But when the whole vote came about, I'm like, I have to. Yeah. There's yeah. my interview. You, you know. Oh, no, right, sorry. <laughs> so, how do you tell me? Tell me. Tell me. No, yeah, you're right. Like your song is so empowering. Like I even told you when you sent me a song that I was crying every day about it. Good. <laughs> uh, it's not good. I love when people cry. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, sorry. I was crying about the vote. Okay. Before you said the song, um, yeah, yeah. it really affected me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you, because I was telling you my family weren't yeah. so supportive. Whereas your family, when I met your family, they're like super, super, super supportive. They I know. Come out mm. to all your shows. Yeah, but you know what? It took them time too. Like, right. I, I for they knew for about a month before um, I knew that they knew. Like, mm -hmm. my, I've got two sisters, and they could not keep the secret for more than half an hour. Yeah. And they told my mum, who told my dad, okay. who they knew for a month. So they so you got, didn't actually tell your parents? No, I didn't tell anyone. Right. My Italian family told everyone for me, so I didn't actually tell anyone, um, which was wow. good. My grandparents, my dad told them, my aunties and uncle, everyone. So um, I was lucky in the sense that I didn't have to do that, but they all said it always takes people time to, to yes. come to town. Yeah. And how, like, what was the follow-up conversation with your parents after that? Like, um, How did you know that they knew? Because I went into my sister's room. Yeah. A month after I had told them and I said to them, look, I'm not ready to tell mum and dad. Mm. I'll tell them next year maybe when I'm ready. And they were like, oh, they won't mind. I'm like, how do you know? <laughs> they're like, oh, because we told mum. And I'm like, well, what? And I'm like, I'm not telling dad. And they're like, dad won't mind either. Wow. I'm like, what? You told dad too? And then the next day I needed to go. I went to, the, I think I went to Bondi, like for the whole day okay. on my own because I wasn't sure how they would, it was going to be like the first conversation. I just laid on the beach all day. Oh, okay, bottom of beach. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. yeah, yeah. And, um, and then my dad gets, sends me this message while I was on the beach. And he was like, Alf, um, I love you no matter what. You know, like, he, yeah, actually it makes me quite... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah cause I hated my dad my whole life because I anticipated that he would hate me as soon as he found out. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, to get that message from him was like... Good. Did you have the same sort of thing that I had that you're like, I have to move countries, I have to be so yeah. far away from everyone. Yeah. I'd learned to cook, to clean. I was oh. the most domestic boy as a teenager because I was convinced that I would be on my own as soon as anyone knew mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's such a sad now I'm a messy crumb <laughs> but like yeah. yeah but like there's such a sad reality that we yeah. have to grow up with yeah. that I'm s this is why marriage quality is so important yeah absolutely because these kids won't have to grow up like that they'll yeah. know it's okay to be it's so much more than just being able to marry it's it's oh, like it's you said it's about such a little part of it like yeah. for me it's suicide which is unfortunate but like that, that that's the driving force for me yeah. but there's so many reasons that's not yeah. just about marriage yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad we got to see you yeah. do Lyric by Lyric. Um, yeah. Thank you. Sign for new music. Thank you. Next year. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs>